Hey everybody, how we doing today? Happy New Year's. It's a beautiful day here at the Florida Keys. Just finished my month end, so taking a break and uh, doing a quick run out. Got a bit of a breeze today, about 15 knots coming out of the south blowing north, northwest. So I think what we're gonna do is gonna hide out on the Gulf side, stay in close, uh, find a little island, tuck in there, and basically uh, do a little bait chasing first and then see what we can catch. So that's the plan. All right, I found the pilchards. They're all right through here. So basically the wind's blowing pretty good, but that uh, barge thing there is causing a wind break. Nice little eddy formed, so all these pilchards are just stacked all the way through here. So we're golden. So the pilchards are lined up right along inside this because of the little eddy it formed. So let's see if we can throw on them. Right there. They're hiding underneath there. Oh, they're running. Perfect. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We scored the mother load. One and done, baby. Yeehaw. There we go. Yeah, all the jet skiers out here having fun. But from Christmas to New Year's, two of these jet skiers got killed. That's why I don't like going on the water or on the road during the major holidays. It's all fun and dandy until someone dies. My God, this is just a big old cluster. Moving. Can't even get out of here because all these dang jet skis everywhere. All right, we're over here at the islands just north of uh, Fleming Key, and I see big pilchards. They're all tucked inside here. Now I have pilchard envy, because I just got a lot of little guys, some mediums. Dang it. All right, we're all set up. Got a bucket full of pilchards. I couldn't get the ones over there yet, but I can get back to that. Got the chum bag out, so it's gonna start collecting fish. Oh, they're there already, waiting for me. I've got a knocker rig on this one. So this isn't going to take very long. Probably don't need to use any weight. Oh, there we go. There's fish on already. Yeah, the picket out was going to be quick. Oh, out of all those uh, mango snappers, we'll get a grouper. Well, that's kind of what the knocker rig is for, getting the bait to the bottom where these guys roam. Only have a couple of these nice sized pilchards. Try not to get it stuck in a tree. There we go. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. That's better. Bigger bait, bigger fish. Oh yeah. That would be a nice little sandwich, sandwich snapper. Boom. Cobra jig head. I think I need to spend some time and try to get some bigger pilchards. These are just too small. All right, those small pilchards just aren't doing it. All they're doing is catching all those little dinkies. 
So I'm gonna see if I can either cast net some of those big pilchards or I'm gonna go get some pinfish and then peg those on the bottom. Not even chum, just find these pockets, drop it to the bottom and then wait for the bigger ones to come out. That's the plan now. Yeah, you can just see the big old bruisers down there, but they know they're safe. Can't get my net anywhere around there. All right, I think we got a shot here. Hopefully some bigger ones stayed in there. There's some small ones and some big ones. All right, just a few will do, I guess. Yeah, there's some decent ones. Okay, so I'll tell you to show you the difference. Like, this is the size of the pilcher that I was have been fishing with there, and these are the ones I just netted. So you can kind of see there's a little bit of a difference in the size that we're playing with, and that's going to grab a attention of the little bit bigger fish so let's throw one of these out so i'm going to try popping it in this little pocket here get it underneath there where the bigger fish lie there we go oh cooted just like that dang it all right check out the action There's a big cooter around here somewhere, so I put on a little strip of wire, free float this guy around. Maybe a big pilcher will go after him as well. Oh, they're chasing him. He is worried. Get to shelter, get to shelter. Oh, oh, there it is. Got him. Oh, oh. Dang it. He just took the body. Golly. Saw him come out after it. Look at that. Oh, didn't let him have it long enough. Dang it. I see another big body floating around in that corner over, over there. There he's coming after it. Chased after it. Oh, there he comes. Oh, there he goes. Eating it, eating it. Is he eating it? Oh. He's still got it. He's got to get in his mouth. There we go. There we go. Oh, dang it. Oh, no, I got him. Oh, nope. Hi. Oh, bombers. What's going on? circle hook why are you not working because you're too small i need to use my seven knot dang it i think something's got it there we go i think we just got a snapper yeah uh, nice one I just left that dead pilchard on there. He came and ate it. Ooh, there's a cuda there. He's just checking it out. Checking it out. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. I've got the line stuck in the tree. So I was just basically kite fishing them. Oh, here he comes again. He's just honed in on it.
waiting to rip it off. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, oh, oh. Can't catch it. Oh, missed him. Oh, he got him that time. Eat it, eat it. Oh, no, stay out of there. Stay out of there. Oh. Oh, it's stuck on that tree branch too much. Oh, here he comes. There he that time he's got it. Oh, oh. Dang it. I don't think he's going to come back for a fifth time. I need to swap that out to a seven knot. Dang it. Oh. There we go. Oh, 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 stay out there. There's our little kuda. Not as big as that other one, but he ate the bait. My stinky little friend. Oh, popped it off. Dang it. All right, now I can go back to a livey. All right, something's got it. Something's got it. Oh. Not very big. Ain't that big old pilchard. Oh, just a mangrove. And there's the cuda behind them. Two cudas behind them. Oh, don't cut my line. Three cudas behind them. They'll come after that pilchard and just cut that line. Ugh. There we go. Nice mangrove. Pilchard and mangrove. One gets the other. Something's got it. Oh, oh, underneath the tree. Get out of there. Get out of there. <laughs> Almost made it to the tree. There's a nice big sandwich mangrove. Got this on the uh, cobra jig head. Just pitched it underneath where those trees were. Figured there'd be the bigger boys hanging out there. And he was. Ugh. Oh. Come on up, buddy. Yup, yup, yup. Oh. There we go. There we go. Nice mangrove. Bam. Ah, oh, bomber. Motor's not starting. I think I got a bad, bad spark plug. So it looks like pedal power home. Dang it. Take a guess which way the wind is coming from. Yep, right this way. And which way is the tide coming? Right this way. <laughs> Dang it. I gotta go way over there. Bad motor. Well, there is our beautiful Key West sunset. I'm just out for a nice little stroll in the evening, enjoying the sunset. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna have to finish off the end of the tour here in the dark again. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video, maybe, bye. I do have to say though, if I have to hoof it all the way back home, can't beat the scenery. <laughs> now that's a Key West fire sunset. Beautiful. And I'm still paddling! <laughs>